whether this is fixed it. In order to tear down an Anki Cosmo, the first thing that you need to do is to remove the lift. And for that, I'm gonna use one of grandma's old blunt round-ended knives and actually just lift up these arms and then pry off. There we go. There's one. And then pry off the one underneath and then go around the other side and do exactly the same again and then pull that lever all the way through. So there we have the lift, put it to one side to keep it safe. The next thing I wanna do is to take apart the head and to do that, you need to remove these covers, which can be a bit tricky to do. Again, let's see if we can get the knife under there and just prise them up and off. That one went flying and this side. I'm gonna have to move around. We have two screws here and they're the same on each side. And so I'm gonna undo those screws. I'm gonna use my wow stick electric screwdriver. It gives me light as well as multiple head tips. Okay, and there's quite a lot of torque in this screwdriver, which is really good. Tip that over, just take that off. Watch you don't lose the spring or the two screws. Put them somewhere safe. And as these screws are all the same, when I take off on the other side, I'm gonna put them in the same place. Okay, that's off. And that's off. Take off this side as well. And then be careful with the screen. The screen's actually attached by a three pin plug which is here be very very gentle taking it off this is actually the motherboard and the display and this is the loudspeaker now we need to dismantle the bottom in order to do this we've got two screws up here at the back and i'm actually going to have to use a little screwdriver for this because it's quite difficult to get at screw put that in a different place screw number two okay and then we should be able to flick that out put that somewhere safe and now we have some screws under the wheels so gently remove these rubber tracks again put them somewhere safe and then we're going to actually pry off the wheels because underneath these wheels are actually screws so let's just see if i can get under there and do that you can see here and take the screws off I suggest you put the screw with each of the wheels as you take it off so you know which one it is okay so let's take that wheel off keep the screw attached to it put it over to one side let's go to the next wheel and do the same not the easiest things to get off to be honest come on there's another wheel another screw Oh no, I'm having trouble with my video software. It seems to have become damaged literally in the last day. And I'm getting a load of video failures, which is really not good at all. Put that with the wheel and the wheel cap. And then the last one. Okay, so that's all the wheels off and now we've actually got some screws at the front okay so let's just lift that off and now over on the other side we've got two very deep screws so we're going to go in there and unscrew them screws out and then finally that's interesting someone's had this one open because there should in fact be a screw here and there isn't one which means that somebody else has had this apart when I bought it and it was potentially new it's interesting so you lift the back off and then you should be able to just pull the two halves apart and inside is the battery so pull that off this side 
So there's the battery that I need to get at. There's the weight which is under the front so just look at the way that that sits in there because it needs to go in exactly the same place. Okay, put that to one side and now we're ready to replace the battery. I hope you like the video. Please subscribe to the channel and check out my other videos and money saving tips. Thanks for watching. Bye.